Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an intro to a new project pan that I just could not wait to get started on or to join. Uh, this project is created by Jelan. It is the uh, Welcome to the Hellmouth project pan. This is based on Buffy, the Vampire Slayer TV show. Um, it runs for seven months, so it starts on March 13th, which is the first uh, the day that the first episode was aired. Seven months for the seven seasons that that uh, show was on air. I just love Buffy. Uh, I love Angel, love Buffy. Both shows I did really enjoy. Buffy, Buffy a little bit more than Angel, just because Angel towards the end was kind of weird. But anyways, why are we talking about that? We're talking about Buffy. We're talking about this project pin. Um, this is in collab with Fantastic Ladies. So I will have the Facebook group linked in the description box as well. If you wanna join, this is gonna be so much fun. So what Jelan did is she put together 30 prompts uh, with some suggestions about like what product to choose. And the goal of the project is to randomly select 13 um, prompts from the list that she has, 13 prompts because there are 13 main characters in the show. Um, once you meet, meet your goal or uh, you, you set a goal for whatever the prompt is, once you meet it, you roll a new product in. I'm extremely excited. Like, I cannot contain my excitement. I need to just, come on, breathe, Ronya. It's just a show. It's just a, you know, a, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did randomly select the 13 uh, prompts, and I'm going to go through them real quick with you, and I'll tell you what products I chose and what my goals are. And yeah, that will be my intro. Uh, there will be monthly updates. I'm going to work really hard on doing my monthly updates, so... Stay tuned for those. Uh, the first item that I picked out, the first random selected item was number one for Buffy, a badass product. I have a lot of badass products in my collection. I was like, I kept going back and forth, back and forth. What do I want it to be? And I went ahead and decided to go with a uh, skincare item. This is something that I absolutely love. It's definitely badass. I feel like it really transforms the way my skin looks. And this is by Pharmacy. This is the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I love this thing. Um, I do have a nice dip in it already. I'm down to here or I'm over here. I do wanna use this whole product up. I think in seven months, I can definitely do it. Typically this lasts me nine months, but I do have um, a good start on it. So I think I could do it in the seven month for this project. So badass product. Uh, yeah, number one. Number, the second prompt was actually number two, a vampire, uh, a vampire or blood themed item. I kind of like went black and red. And for that, I am going to go ahead and use this mascara. This is, it's newer to me. I've never used it before, but I do like the packaging. Let's take that wrapper, plastic wrapper off. It is like black. It is black and red. And uh, that's what I think of when I think about vampire themed things. I don't know why, but mainly red because of the blood, but the black, maybe because of the dark. Anyways, so this is the All Night Bender Black Extreme Lash Mascara. This is by Rockins Cosmetics. Um, I do want to use this guy up completely. Um, these, I mean, full uh, full size mascaras. Okay, that's an interesting shaped wand. Um, so. Okay, full size mascaras typically last me three to four months. I'm on the end of a couple that I have open, so I don't mind opening a new one and use it for the next three to four months. So, vampire theme item. Um, for me, the next one is for Angel, an item you have a complicated history with. Oh, Angel. Or Angel. I love him. Mm, I think maybe Spike towards the end of the show took my heart, but Angel. Uh, complicated history with, this is a product, I just I went ahead and decided on a uh, MAC strobe cream, a little simple thing, and this is in pink light. So complicated history with, um, I forget how much I like this until I use it. So I, I really enjoy it, I use it, I get on the kick of like, yes, I'm gonna use it, and then kind of like forget about it. And then when I use it again, I'm like, I really love this thing. So I went ahead and uh, picked this one and I do want to use it completely. Um, it has a one on it because I've used it previously. I have two of them and I wanted to make sure that I actually use the correct one. <laughs> so I do want to finish this guy uh, completely. Uh, the fourth prompt is for Hellmouth. 
and a black a black item which whether it's color or packaging i'm going again with another mac item and this is in black this is prep and prime uh like the skin you know primer i do want to use this guy up completely um this is a brand new one i had a couple of these so i'm trying to like go through them um just use them all up so this one i do want to finish up completely as well uh, the next on my list is uh, for Once More With Feeling, an item you love so much it could make you break out in a song or in song. Uh, what did I say? In a song. In song? In a song. Anyways, uh, I'm doing a perfume. I'm going to work on my Juliette Has The Gun. This is the Pear Ink. I love this thing. It smells ugh, amazing. I just... I yeah i love it it smells so good i feel like i smell delicious when i wear it it smells absolutely delicious i really really like it i do want to use it 30 times like 30 three zero times um yeah i i think that's pretty doable i typically wear perfume on like daily basis so but i have i do have a couple in other project pans so 30 times for this one Alrighty, next up is for Mr. Pointy. That's what Buffy used to call her, you know, steak, Mr. Pointy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I've had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm all over the place. A product that you sharpen. Um, I am going to go with this MAC. Wow, that's the third MAC product in this project. Whew, look at me using up my MACs. Um, this is a PowerPoint point eye pencil, and this is in the shade Stubborn Brown. Oops. Um, I do want to use it 13 times, just keeping it with the theme of 13 characters, 13 prompts, 13 times for this one. And it is a sharpening pencil, so, you know, I don't know how many times I will need to sharpen it. Sometimes I get more than, like, two uses out of every sharpen so but 13 times in total that i want to use this product um next up for sunnydale a yellow item or yellow packaging and i'm like i don't have anything yellow or yellow packaging i was thinking about this when i was doing my makeup and i'm like i have this guy this is bella pier setting banana setting powder and the shade name listen to this well no it's banana it's not yellow what's wrong with me well, okay, it has a subtle yellow hue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this guy, this uh, setting powder, the banana setting powder. This is in the shade Original Light. Banana, it's yellow. Um, I do want to use it. I, wa I want to use 1.3 grams of it. Um, it's not, it, it, total grams in here is 4 grams. So I'm like, do I want to use 0 0.13? 1.3 I think that's a good way 1.3 grams of this one um, I waited today my starting point is 31 grams even so I do want to use 1.3 grams of this guy and I do really like it to set under my eye I did use it today um, it's brightening you know that banana shade next up we have uh, the master uh, the oldest item in your collection or oldest item in a category if you know me or if you've been watching my channel, you know my addiction for uh, face palettes. And this is what started that whole addiction. This is by It Cosmetics and this is the Live Love Laugh Vitality Disc uh, Face Compact. Um, there she is in all her glory, barely used. Some of the shades, well, yeah, most of them are barely used. Um, it's, uh, the, the contour in here is very densely packed, but the bronzer, I mean, the blush and the highlight are not so densely packed. I do want to use this whole compact 13 times, whether it's 13 times for the blush or any combination of all three products, 13 times. This is definitely what started my addiction to face palettes. This is my oldest face palette. Um, to the point where I'm like, it's kind of grossed out thinking about how old this thing is. Um, but I just love it and it's easy to sanitize its powder. So I don't feel like it's, you know, crappy or anything like that. But yeah, I do want to use it 13 times and, um, I do love it. So there we go. Next up, the, the anointed one, which is uh, a newer item in your collection. Um, I haven't been buying that much makeup recently. I'm kind of like slowing down, but one item that I did pick up and I haven't even tried or used yet, I did pull it into a Shop My Sash video, but I still have not had the chance to use it. And I do want to use it. This was a little bit of a, you know, pretty penny. 
This is Chanel, the blush lumiere, and the shade is Pest Rosé. It's a limited edition blush. It's stunning. It's really, really beautiful. Um, but I just, I need, to, I need to use it. You know, I need to actually dip into this guy and use it. Um, so my goal for this one, use it 13 times. It's a beautiful blush. I do want to use it 13 times. And uh, yeah, there we go. There's this one. Keeping up with the theme, 13 uses. Uh, next up, we have um, in every generation, there is a chosen one, chosen one. And for that, we have uh, the way that uh, Jaylon translated that prompt is a powerful item. Uh, for me, I am going to go ahead and use these uh, Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peels. Um, there's three treatments in here. These are definitely powerful, powerful treatments for, you know, your skin, obviously. I do want to use all three of them. Um, you, I'm not supposed to use it too often, maybe like once a week thing. I can't even remember, but I do want to use those guys up. Um, crap, now it says expiration date 1021. I can get away with it. I'm going to just try and use them once a week and be done with it. But yeah. Powerful, definitely powerful. I do feel a difference when I use these. They are exfoliating peels, so I definitely see a difference when I use them. And uh, yeah, we need to get them out. Next up, I have uh, Passion Rules Us All and We Obey, an item that exemplifies your passion for makeup, skincare, and beauty. Okay, this one, this is a hard one. Uh, it was hard to think about because I love pretty packaging for things, especially makeup. And the, I feel like that's the reason why I just think makeup is so beautiful. You know, whether you use it or you just look at it. Um, I did choose to work on Smashbox X Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter. This is in the shade Gilded Rose. I do want to use it 13 times. Let me show you this guy. The packaging, stunning. The actual product itself. Stunning. The way it looks on the skin, stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. I still remember purchasing this one when it first launched, trying it, and I was like, what the heck is this? I did not really enjoy it because I was looking more for blinding highlighters. That's what was in at that point, um, where this is just beautiful. You know, it's not super blinding. It can be if I layer it like on my uh, setting spray or anything like that. It can be really blinding, but I don't I mean, I'm not looking for that anymore. I just want really beautiful, natural kind of glow. Really, really beautiful. Not natural by any means, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to use this guy 13 times. Yeah, I purchased it. I tried it. I didn't like it. I returned it. I regretted it until very recently. I found it on Poshmark and I was like, you know what? I'm pulling the trigger. I'm buying this guy again and I'm keeping it. So there he is. She, he, a beautiful product. It's a it. Uh, next up, we have Faith. Faith, a product that was once good but is now evil. Yeah, we all remember the how Faith, you know, changed throughout the show. And actually, I did really enjoy Faith. I did really like her. Um, and okay, like, okay, a product that was good in my collection and now evil got decluttered. So I couldn't think of anything like that a product wise that's like good went bad or you know anything like that but i thought about it in terms of a brand a brand that everybody was kind of like in love with and then start kind of talking crap about i'm not here to promote talking crap about brands or anything like that but this is a this is this is what came to mind and that was hourglass i know with all the controversies about um the brand in whole like how they're not inclusive and in anything like in, in all of that so i you know i have made a decision to not purchase from them anymore i am going to use what i have but at this point i'm not going to purchase any products to supporting the brand anymore but i do want to use what i have anyway hourglass this is a mini veil translucent setting powder i do want to finish this whole baby up it's not a lot of product in here it's 0.9 grams um it's a tiny compact so it's going to be a little bit painful to use but i do want to use it up and there we go a product that was good now is evil needs to come out of my collection and that's hourglass veil translucent powder 
Next, we have becoming an item you love with all your heart, but you've realized needs to die. Um, do I love it with all my heart? I feel like this is something that I used to love with all my heart, but then something else took its place. So this has to die. And this is the Ulta Beauty Bronze Glow Self Tanning. This is the Express Ultra Dark, uh, Ultra Dark. Ultra Dark Express Tan Tinted Mousse. Um, I think, well, I, I'm more than halfway. Like the bottle still feels really full. Could probably, I don't know. I can't tell how much is in it, but I do want to use this whole baby up. Um, I have been using, or I did use the um, Bondi Sands brand and I like it a little bit better just because I feel like on my skin tone, it looks more natural of a tan uh, where this one sometimes can look a little bit fake but it's still a really good tanning product um i still love it but it's gotta go because i have brand new ones from bondi sense that i like just a little bit more so we're using this baby up anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this intro if you did please make sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel check out the description box for the link to jaylon's channel and the Facebook group, the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. Leave me a comment down below letting me know who was or is your favorite character on Buffy. Were you a fan of the show? I know someone that has never seen it and like, shame, shame, shame. You better got it, get on it. Should I say her name? No. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.